Okay, the purpose of this exercise is to establish a date for an event and then work backwards so that we can establish some production deadlines prior to the event and then work uh, post-event date with some metrics for some follow-up. So we're just going to do this very quickly so you can see how this works. Let's start with a date. Let's say an event is going to start on January 1st. Uh, by the way, before we go any further, if you'd like to copy this further down the, this date, further down the spreadsheet, what you can do is you can take the cell number, which in this case is B1, and go down a little bit and type in equals V1, and you can do this a number of times down the spreadsheet, and this date and this date will always be the same. If you change this date to, say, January 15th, anything that's got the same B1 uh, cell number in it will change as well. So that's something useful to know if you don't want to keep uh, copying the same date down and down and down. Okay, let's establish some metrics here. Let's say we got a print job that's due before this event date. We've got an email. Um, we've got a, uh, a shipping date. We've got a setup date. And we've got a post-mortem or a uh, uh, post-mortem date that we're going to have to have a report done by. Okay, since our event date is January 15th, let's say the print job is due 21 days out. What we'll do is we'll create a little formula here called equals sum open paragraph, uh, parenthesis, and then we'll type in this cell number, which is B1, and then we'll just put minus, and then 21 for 21 days, and what that does is it establishes a deadline 21 days from this date. Print job is due on December 25th for the event of January 15th. And rather than reinventing the wheel each time, let's just copy this formula and go down here. Let's say that email is due 14 days out. We're just going to make this 14. And there's January 1, 14 days from the 5th. We're going to ship this thing out, let's say, one week prior. So let's make this 7 days. Uh, we're going to set it up the day prior. So let's make this 1 day. And the postmortem, let's say that's due 10 days following the event. So we're going to turn this minus to a plus for 10 days. We're going to put 10 in here for 10 days. And you've just set up all your deadlines for this event date based on the original event date. Now, if you want to change this date, oh, I made a mistake. It's not January 15th. It's February 15th. You just change this date. And all the dates below will change automatically. Very simple.